In this lesson, we'll learn how to use the patch tool to remove any unwanted elements from an image. So here we have this image of the city skyline that we worked with in lesson two where we were using the spot healing brush to remove uh, some of those spots that we had up here in the sky, which was probably from some dirt or water being on the camera lens. And of course we did that on a separate layer, regardless of whatever it is you're wanting to um, heal or remove from an image, I encourage you to work non-destructively and stay in that habit. Now, much like the same situation we had with the power line image in the previous lesson, I see a couple of distracting elements that I'd like to remove. I'd like to remove these people down by the water edge down there, and also what appears to be the top part of a trash can right there. So we can use the patch tool to um, seamlessly remove these unwanted elements. So I'm going to click and hold down over my healing brush tool in the tool panel, and on that flyout menu, I'm going to choose the patch tool right there in the center. So the way the patch tool works is that you define a selection, and then you're going to patch whatever is in that selection, okay? And so you don't have to use the patch tool to draw your selection. You could use the lasso tool, or you could define a selection using a quick mask, um, but you can just as easily draw your selection with the, with the patch tool. So you can see that little pointer right there where you're leading that uh, selection as you draw it. And so we have our selection right there. And before we start to use this patch, if I if I were to try to just click in that selection, we're going to get this, this notification saying, hey, you can't use a patch tool because this selection is empty. And that is true because right now I'm working on that other layer that I was using the spot healing brush on in lesson two. And so you can see turning off the background layer visibility that there is indeed nothing there. The only thing on that layer was where we um, basically healed over those spots. Okay. And so in this case, we're going to have to work on the background layer. And that's also in part because of the option that we have right here, which is set to normal. So if it's set to normal, you're going to run into a problem like that if you're trying to work on a new layer. But we will show how you can change that option here in a moment and work uh, and sample across different layers. Okay, So the way that this works is you would take the, the, the selection here and you would drag it to a new source to basically source from and patch over the unwanted element. So um, if you look up here, see where it says source as being selected. So that's how that's working. Okay, And you can see actually does a pretty nice job overall. A little bit of inconsistency right here uh, at the, the grass edge, but that's to be expected given the, um, the differences in the width of this little concrete area all the way across. Okay, But overall, it does a pretty nice job. I'm going to take a few steps back here, again, making sure I'm on the background layer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let's go ahead and draw another selection here. And this time, we're going to switch to destination. Now before I do that, again we still have source enabled and see how we have that little arrow pointing towards the screen right? If we change it to destination, that arrow is pointing the opposite way. So now with this option you can think of kind of working in reverse. It's just another way of working, another way of having just a, a different level of control. So with destination chosen, you can see what would happen here if I were to drag that selection this time. It's not going to be what I want. Um, you're basically taking that selection, moving it to a new destination. So I don't want to duplicate an unwanted element. So what I actually want to go ahead and do is draw a selection over here off to the side, and I'm going to drag that to the new destination, which is on top of the unwanted element, which is those people. And I may want to try that one more time just to line it up a little bit better. Okay. And as you can see, it does a pretty good job. Again, a little bit of inconsistency right there, but that could easily be cleaned up using another healing tool, say like the clone stamp, which we're going to be talking about later on in another lesson. Okay? All right, so not too bad. Now I'm going to take a few steps back here. Um, let's talk about switching this from normal to content aware. So just clicking on that little arrow right there. So now we can work kind of like what we did with the spot healing and healing brushes. And that's because we now have a new set of options here, one of which is sample all layers. Go ahead and check mark that. And now if I want, I can create a new layer. And with content aware, um, you're basically, again, you'll draw selections, basically working the same way as if you had source selected for when it was set to normal, okay, just a moment ago as we demonstrated that. So same way, 
you can drag this over and you, you don't have to go completely horizontal but um, in this case I would drag it completely over and I love having that little preview right there and just release and you can see how it patches it in all right so pretty cool stuff and again that's on its own layer now uh, I want to take a step back here okay and I'll talk to you about some other options that we have here see where it says adaptation click on that little gear next to it we have structure and color and this helps make a difference in the quality of the patching that occurs so structure you can enter in a value between one and five okay so this basically specifies how closely the patch will reflect the existing image patterns so you can see that kind of the pattern that you kind of have here in the water and even on the grass um, the the quality of that is going to be dictated by the, the value that you enter there so we could try um, five if you enter five it's going to adhere much more strongly to those existing patterns so we could try that again and you can see like it's right there in the water it looks pretty close we tried that again with say um, one it's going to be a lot more loose and it just might not give you the, the exact result that you want so um, really honestly they both look pretty decent in this particular situation but you might run into a situation where it's not giving you the best patch so play around with those values okay so um, often a middle of the ground value would be three which I think um, would be would be pretty good okay and I'll try that one more time I'm trying to line that up just a little bit better now um, let's go ahead and finish out this lesson by removing this unsightly trash can over here so again I would draw a selection around here and we're going to talk about this other option that we have up here under adaptation but notice how it's a little bit darker right here than it is say right here and so if I were to drag this over here you can see it didn't give me the best patch possible as far as uh, the color matching goes so if you come up here you can enter in a value between 0 and 10 0 means it's disabled 10 would mean you're getting the maximum color blending possible so often you can find kind of a, a good result with just a middle of the road of a value of 5 so try that and just as before I'll drag that selection over and you can see how it kind of matches that just a little bit better right there okay so that kind of gives us a little bit better result so again play around with these values that we have right here for structure and color and that will really kind of dictate the quality of the patch that you're creating there um, when you have it set to content aware okay and again we're working non-destructively so you can kind of make that comparison to kind of see um, how everything looks there so we've successfully removed some uh, distracting elements from this image using the patch tool.